to Connect 360 presents the People's Cast. I am King Bear in the building. Michelle K. And ladies and gentlemen, we got a, a talk just with me and Michelle K today, the other clowns decided not to make it today. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm talking about you because so you ain't here. That's on you. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> you ready to get it home, girl? Yes, sir. All right, let's get to it. And we give it back to you. The people. We had seen a debate. I hadn't seen a debate. But I've been hearing about the debate. And I ain't gonna lie. I might get a lot of backlash from this one, but I like Trump. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. I really do like him. I can't agree with everything he does, mm -hmm. but I do like his. I like the way he present come come at you. You know, he ain't playing. Mm -hmm. He gonna, you know, he gonna talk. He gonna talk that trash. But at the end of the day, I mean, you know, Trump. Trump is gonna be our next president. No, 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 no. He's gonna be our next president. Why he called him Sleepy Joe? <laughs> that was my favorite thing. When he got Sleepy Joe's like, <laughs> oh, I love that. And I was like, yeah, but Biden, you know, they gave him his four years. That's what he always wanted to be in the office. And now he got it. And yeah, but now he think he can do it again. And uh, he might not. Even Michelle, okay, it's so bad. It was so bad. It was so bad. Like, I talked to my brother um, after the debate, and he was like, yo, it's like I was watching two old people in the nursing home. Yeah. And, and it did give that feel, especially with Joe. Like, yeah. oh. He was a good star. Oh. Oh, it was so bad. It was so bad. I've seen clips. I had watched it all, so I'm going to watch it because I need to see what's going on. Oh, Grandpa Joe got the beatboxing. Like, he got asked the question, and then he started off strong in the answer, and then the brain just shut down. He started thinking about pudding and applesauce. <laughs> and then my man got, he was on the mic going, I'm uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President. <laughs> He was gone. It was like, what? Oh, yeah. What's that? Like, there, there really should be a cutoff. Like, there's already a, a a low limit. Like, you can't even run for president unless you're 35 years old in this country. That's pretty bad. You need some. I mean, I so, know they feel like mentally they might be prepared, but yeah, we look at them now. They he, he don't they're 80, over 80. He's 81. He's 81. And Trump is 78, 77, 78. And that's that's the part that pisses me off the most. Cause that's like, we're supposed to be the best country in the world. You can't even get a real decent person to help run. That's the best. That, that's right. supposed to represent that's, our best. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> you see what he did four years ago. And then it's like That nigga falling up the airplane stairs, Man. walking off in the grass, what? just walking off. He, he, look, they over here. It's like it's almost embarrassing. Like it you is. don't even see him a lot because he's either sick somewhere or doing something. He's talking slow or he got something. But Trump was every every day he had a press conference. Every day was that Macanini, Macanini, the his press the um his the lady who did the press conference for him. Yeah. The president. I loved her. <laughs> I loved her. Like she was when she opened up that book, she was on it and started like that and she wasn't finna hear nothing else you had to say. <laughs> Say something. She had a whole little speech, but she wasn't gonna give you no time to say nothing. No, no. I loved her, dude. Like, all right, close the book. I'm out. And that's what they said, but he knew he had the right person. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy this year. Yeah, it's it's already started because 
All right, so I'm I'm big on procedures. I'm big on, you know, if something is supposed to be a certain way, I get used to it being like that, and I get real grumpy when things don't go the way that it's supposed to go. Well, if you look at the history, it's always gone the same way. The Republicans, you know, have their, um, they, they have people who want to run, and then they battle it out, and then whoever wins the Republican nod, they run for president. The Democrats do the same thing. So you always hear this person, this person, this person, three or four or five people running over here. Now the incumbent, which happens to be a Democrat, there's still battles, but everybody just assumes if you ran and you won for four years, you're pretty much gonna be the the one that's coming in. Well, I mean, well, that's what history shows. Like there's never been a case where a sitting president, president lost the primaries like they might have only served one term as president like they lost the presidential race but like if like jimmy carter was a one-term president yeah. nixon was a one term um uh uh trump was a one term well they they lost the presidential race like when jimmy carter lost the second run he didn't lose it to a democrat who then ran for president like he was still the Democratic nod and then lost. Same thing with Trump, everybody else. So if you do your four years, it's pretty much automatic that you're gonna be the person to represent the party for the next four. Now they do the whole pomp and circumstance, hey, this guy wants to run and and they have their debates and stuff like that. But we all know that's that's just ceremonial. It it, it don't that's not what's gonna happen. Right. And, and that's the crazy thing about this. And that's the crazy thing. And that's what's driving me absolutely nuts because the, the first part is the, the order of things. You win your, your party's nod, and then after you win your nod and everybody announces, Donald Trump will represent the Republicans for the presidential race. The next thing you're supposed to do is nominate your vice president. Then once we know who the vice, exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. This thing is like completely out of order now. It's like he hadn't even heard. From oh no, he ain't fucking with Pence no more. No, Pence, he didn't want that little ordeal, but look what they did to him. Yeah, but he go back up there. I thought he was gonna run though. I really thought a lot of people did. A lot of people did, and he considered it but until. He Until he him. saw that Donald, this thing got convicted on 34 counts. 34, and he's still running. Felonies. Right. And he was like, yeah, I'm still here. Right. Penn said, you can't, you can't, you can't beat this dude. <laughs> Do you think he wanted Pence back again? Absolutely not. Because he literally told Pence, hey, um, I might lose this, but being you're the vice president, you have the ability to overturn certain things. And, and Pence said, I can't do that. Mm-mm. And Donald Trump holds grudges. <laughs> he holds was, grudges. That man was high not for his life. Because Trump, that's my, that's my life, Trump. Trump said, I'm coming for you. Like, oh, you do dirt to me? That's your number. I'm going to get your ass. Don't be playing. Like, I'm going to get your ass. I'm going to get you. So he's coming back. But, and that's the thing. So we've already had our first presidential debate. Mm-hmm. There was no Republican debates, so there was none of that. Like the world just decided, yo, it's Trump, and that's it. Everybody else go sit down. Because they don't want Biden in there. They never really wanted him in there, but Trump was doing what he do best. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, either we go go further into the hole, or we got to get rid of him. That was the only thing. But Biden was not really, to me, no. suited to be the next No, mm-hmm. no, he's senile. He was by default. Grandpa yeah. Joe, man. Yeah, Grandpa yeah. Joe. Yeah, that why he called him Sleepy Joe, sleeping in the bunker. But you know, we got a we got a new name for uh, Donald Trump. Oh, what is it? Emperor. Who? Emperor. Why? Because he ain't he ain't picked no vice president. Hey, he, he's probably gonna think he's, he's running all by himself. Exactly. He he's going for emperor. He said, you know what? We are now a monarchy again, and y'all can call me King Trump. I'm not president no more. I'm the king. I was figuring that if he got in this next time, I think what blew his mind that 
we was allowed to tell him if he was going to do four years or eight. Right. We weren't prepared for that. No. And it was like, wait a minute, y'all finna put me out of y'all. Change something. I'm telling you, I think he gonna try to. He wanna change that right. so bad. Like, right. If he get in, he ain't leaving. He ain't leaving. He's not gonna leave. So yeah, he. He almost ain't leave this time. Right. No Man. white people storm the damn, <laughs> storm and Congress. He, and he mad because they will let him be a front runner. Right. <laughs> I would have been like, let him on out there. Let him see what everybody else see. Oh like, my god. Yeah, he was mad about that, but yeah, he, he was so, so mad. This thing. Like he literally went out there and like he didn't even care about being recorded no more or anything. This nigga called down to Georgia and he was like, "Hey, he said I know that there's some funky shit going on with these votes, yeah, but we ain't gonna worry about that. I need y'all to find me about thousand votes. Just that no, just find me a thousand votes. They were like, um, people have voted." Yeah, fuck all that shit. <laughs> find me about a thousand votes yeah. and we be good. Where you find them? Atlanta was the biggest. Yeah. We ain't never been on a map. <laughs> <laughs> not for no presidential. Oh, yeah, like this. oh, I know y'all got them numbers. <laughs> 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 numbers is not gonna be for you. I wish that had a been, but no, you was not gonna go out like that. Trump was serious. He did he make a trip down here? And everything. He sure he did. <laughs> That's why I say he's so aggressive. Yeah. He's an aggressive. Po- he's yeah. not gonna just take no for <laughs> Take whatever you tell him. He's hard-headed, and he's going to do what he want to do. Yeah, I better not let him back in office. Yeah. If they do... Oh, it's inevitable. He just can't have... We just have to do our part of having the Senate or the House. We got to have one or the other. But if we lose the Senate and the House, I mean, we done for it. I don't, I don't think it's going to matter. Mm-hmm. I think if he gets in that office and gets a pen in his hand, this nigga gonna be vetoing and he gonna be presidential executive ordering a whole bunch of shit. It was, it was, we had the House or the Senate, you know, we was right, going on. Right. So he was, he couldn't do everything because we was, they was, they was stopping him. But I'm, I, I think if we lose, cause people, it was not even a lot of people who voted this year for the Senate and the House. Right. To the polls, I'm talking. People didn't even know they was voting for that. Right. I'm thinking this is the best part of the election is the House and the Senate. That's the part that really makes sense. The that's just a person that's just there to just dictate whatever y'all. But they're the ones who gonna make the decision. Mm-hmm. So I say I don't know. Now y'all can't get mad if we lose the House and the Senate because y'all didn't go out there. And now y'all got a nut in the president again, and he ain't leaving. He is not going nowhere at all. So. Yeah, I bet pretty. Oh, uh, he gonna be turned up, Trump. Oh, yeah. He gonna turn up. And all the people that he had in that surrection, they get all that. All they all about home. to get. Yeah, everybody coming home. <laughs> they probably sitting there saying, "Yeah, vote for him," because they can't do it no more. But yeah, uh, they coming home. They yeah, coming and home. and even that, you know the. So, I was looking into this, and um, so you know the loophole that they they I don't know if they set this up or. No, they didn't set this up because this has been part of of the system. Just nobody ever had to do it. So the rule states that no no man who is convicted and has to go to jail can be a sitting president. Okay? So what they do in a case where, like his, if it ever happened, because this is the first time it's happened in history like this, where a criminal can actually become the president. It's absolutely insane. Right. right. They don't prolong it. Well, he doesn't have to report for sentencing until the day after the election. See where it's going already? So, <laughs> so he was convicted on 34 counts. The judge stated, okay, your sentencing date is going to basically be after... January, like January 21st, some shit like president. Right. So, and the rule states no sitting president can do it from jail. 
So the loophole is, well, then we will communi uh, communicate your sentence until after your term. Once you win, then they're going to go ahead and... Then you, yeah, if you win and if you are sentenced to prison, you won't serve any of that prison time until after you're no longer president. And you know he... Oh, yeah, yeah. It gets better. <laughs> yeah, here ain't no. Here ain't no. That's why he full force. That's why he's like, fuck a vice president. I got no time for nobody else fucking this shit up for me. Like, I, I, yo, I ain't going to jail for none of y'all motherfuckers. He's going out by himself. Fuck that. There ain't no way. So here's the second part of the loophole. Mm -hmm. A president can pardon themselves. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn So if he wins and the day... And you know what he did last time he won? Yeah. That night, yeah, he, that nigga was already in there like, fuck Obamacare. Yeah, like, did. get rid of all this shit. He went and destroyed everything Obama everything. did. Man. Everything. Like, it was like, nope, that's out, that's yep. out, that's out. So, yeah, he would be the first one so, on the top of the block. Yeah. yeah. So, he win. Like, he ain't even going to be at the celebration when the balloons fall. <laughs> By the time they announce it, this nigga would be like, yo, get my car. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Yeah. I need to get to that oval desk yeah. and I need to start writing yeah. some shit. He definitely will. Oh, yeah. Man. So he can pardon himself. He could pardon himself. So then the next day when he's supposed to report for sentencing, if he pardons himself on January 20th, yeah. 34 counts of what? That's gone. <laughs> he said, I'll be damn sitting in no jail. It won't be <laughs> it won't be me. Exactly. Exactly. That's, exactly. He ain't dumb. And that's no. what you should know. He might not do everything correctly, but he's not a dumb man. I have he's called dumb. Donald Trump a lot of things, but I have never called him dumb. No. He's very intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> he knows how to play on the system. Mm -hmm. that. And that's what we're going to be able to I can say it, it's going to be a hit or miss. If he get in there, but if Biden stay in there, what's going to happen? B Biden's not going to stay in there. Like I literally, you know, and I'm not big on current events. So when when I see or I see something going on, like it's a big thing because it, it has to hit a lot of newsreels for for me to see it. Right. Like once it starts interfering with stocks is when it like starts hitting my my numbers. I'm like, hey, what did he say? Because <laughs> otherwise, I don't care. I don't look at it or nothing. The powers that be on the Democratic side. There's reports, reports being released, even in Congress, that they're questioning the ability for Biden to make it four years as president. And we're like, no shit. He's, he's 81 years old. Right. He was struggling when he was 77. Right. It was like, I don't know what they had him on just to finish the debate. Right. This year they said, fuck it. Whatever come out, we already know you full of crap right at this point. You probably don't even remember the debate after that night. Like, he probably was out of it. He was. He was lying. He got, yo, Donald Trump caught him in a lie. Yeah. And it was a dumb lie. It was so dumb. They would talk about, uh, so the late, the moderator brought it up. She was talking about health care. Mm -hmm. And then Joe, uh, well, Donald Trump goes into a rant talking about, yeah, I'm all about health care and I'm all about staying healthy. You know, I love playing golf. You know, shit we already know. Right. He was actually being really presidential. It was like, okay, he's not wilding out. Not like so somebody been talking to him. Okay. Right. Somebody been talking to him. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Then Joe starts talking. Joe gets up. He said, "Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I, I bet you, I bet you, you, you're not as healthy as you, you, you think you think you are. I bet you, if you, you, uh, I, I tell you what, I, I'll play you in a round of golf if, if you, uh, if you carry your own bag." And Donald Trump did that, that, that goofy look he does where he's like, "Nigga, please, he's doing that." He probably started carrying your bag, my bag and three other people's bag. Donald Trump said, hey, I'm way too rich to carry my old bag. <laughs> so, <laughs> what are you talking about? Carry my old bag. Yeah, I bet Biden don't ever carry his yeah, bag. Yeah, so. right. Right. Biden can't carry his old kneecaps. Yeah. Boy, he fall everywhere he go. <laughs> and they was like, 
So he was like, he was like, uh, body goes, yeah. So I'm a, I'm a six handicap, which you know much about golf. No. Okay, so a six handicap just means so when you play golf, you play 18 holes, the par or for you to break even is 72 strokes. So if somebody says that they have a something handicap, that's however many strokes that they can play the whole course mm -hmm. over 72. So if 72 is a par score, that's like if you hit every hole, uh, every amount of strokes you're supposed to hit it in. No birdies or no less than ones or no plus than ones. It's 70, 72 shots in 18 holes, okay? So if somebody says they have a six handicap, that means that they finish the whole course in 78 shots instead of 72. So they went six over the amount that they're supposed to get. Because they handicap. Right, so it's, it's, it's worse than par, but that's still a phenomenal number for us non-professionals. Like when I played, my best my best handicap was 18. And I thought I was hot shit. Really? And I, yeah, I shot, I, I shot a damn, uh, a fucking 90. <laughs> like 72 is the best. And I finished the whole course with 90 shots. So that's over the 70. Over the 72. 72. Right. So I had an 18 handicap. Joe Biden at this age said he has a six handicap. There's professional golfers right now that when they finish the, the their meets, they will have like negative seven, negative eight. So that would be like a negative, that would be an eight handicap. Joe Biden at 81 say he's doing better than professional golfers. Yo, Donald Trump called cap on him, dog. He was like, Donald Trump, he started doing the, the look. Like this thing. Y'all hear this? Just get up to the steps of the All right. <laughs> like we literally saw them change your batteries on the way up, right. dog. You like, come on. You have never moved fast. <laughs> <laughs> like everything you do is three degrees slower for real. For real. Yeah. So yeah, okay. they got they were bickering back and forth on it a little bit, and then Donald Trump was like, "Yeah, America, y'all heard him. He said he had a six eighty cap." Joe Biden. Joe Biden goes. I, I I never said six. I said eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> Way to go. Okay, we got Dottie, Dottie just went. Oh, right. I would tell him. We <laughs> gonna send him to match him to that one day, and you put that on TV, and just by the probably couldn't even go put the ball on the ground. <laughs> Gonna do it he couldn't get back up. <laughs> oh, Shit, he couldn't drop the ball. His fucking arthritis <laughs> locked up. They'd be like, put the ball down, Joe. <laughs> he can't let it go. Let go, grip the club. Let's go. So, yeah, like, I don't know. But Biden, oh, I like my Biden God. because he, he had a purpose and he set out for it. And it was his dream. And <laughs> that was a long ass dream. It was. He first it. ran. <laughs> He turned 35. <laughs> he turned said, I'm almost down there 85. I'm in here. I can't fuck by American people. Shit, this shit going down anyway. I'm in here. I'm going to do four years. If they give me eight, they the dummies. They the dummies. Shit, I got four. <laughs> I don't think he care about it. I don't think if he don't get the, the next set, I think he'll be okay with it. Because I think he, he will want to do better. But I think... I hope that he know that he can't do anything after this. This is this is it. I I hope he doesn't win, not because of his politics, not because of <laughs> like you know craving pudding and shit. None nothing have to do with him being presidential. Mm -hmm. I don't think he will survive four more years. No, that either. First of all, no. like once you get to eighty, every day over eighty is a blessing. And now you're going to run the best country in the free world as all 81. Rest, traveling. Right. Sleep right. Sleep nice. nights. Right. You need all your sleep. Right. You got to go to different countries and yeah. deal with foreign policies. Yes. And remembering that shit at your Right. Age. And he's supposed to do that all the way until he's 85? He's going to die. He's going to die. I don't think... I, I know it sounds silly, but I don't think he'll... I don't think his body will physically make it four years. His mind mentally... Right. It's going to make it. Right. That yeah, the dimensions already, it's in, in the works. Something's going on. Mm -hmm. Something is going on. 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 Something is going on.
is happening. Now, Trump ain't always, you know, Trump is, he's healthy, but I don't think he is healthy either because he lied about a lot of stuff that he got going on with his, and he didn't want to believe he had COVID, and he out there in the White House. He had like, the mask off. <laughs> <laughs> You just think half of the staff members and stuff. So yeah, Trump is, but I know he's in a better health and better mind frame than Biden. And yeah. I can't say, but like I said, we have. It's just sad that we have nobody. Else. Nobody. That has a clean record. They're all dirty. That's sad. That right. Y'all made it this far doing dirt. We don't have anybody. That's American that's politics. Not that's not good for the millennials because they're gonna be really in trouble. Well, I mean, shoot, the Gen Zs, everybody, they, it's it's horrible because you guys, everybody outside of Gen Z, all of us old people, we're dinosaurs now. Like we're already, we're hitting our fifties. I mean, we're gonna be looking for the pudding soon, and there's no upcoming leadership that is saying, "Hey, I'm young, I'm vibrant, I'm intelligent, no. I'm ready to take on the world." There's none. No more MLKs, you know. None. Rosa Parks. You don't have anybody to set that true leadership example for these younger people. None. Besides these rappers, and look at what they're doing. Look at how they're transforming, and now they're crossing over to other little levels and stuff. And it's like these kids is looking at that. So what's Trump and all these out, who would be the next one? Because if we were struggling with trying to get somebody now, right. imagine four more years. Right. Who's gonna come up that's not corrupt? Everybody's right. corrupt now. So Yeah. It's gonna be scary. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be a it's gonna be it's not gonna be livable. It's right. Be, you know. The powers that be just based on what you just said, this might be the reason why Trump didn't get a vice president because they might be trying to pull the wool and just say hey you know what let's just go monarchy let's just That's let him be king the house and a senate and he got it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but let, let's just let him be king yep. and let's just see how it works <laughs> Oh, I'm telling you. And that's when they go get mad. Mm -hmm. Yep. Y'all gotta find somebody. Birth the baby. We got 20 years by this. Shit ain't gonna be dope. We, it's not even gonna be worth it. We're gonna be out of everything. We're not gonna, we gonna, we already so far in debt. Yep. Helping other countries. Mm -hmm. War going on. They still ain't, I ain't heard nothing else about that war and all that. All them people dying over there. So it's like we are in, we're not the richest company in uh, country. In Nowhere. Like we're Nowhere near. So we're barely in the top five, and barely. That's sad. Yeah, because we was a very strong, good country. Here. We were, we were. Now, yeah, we're we're not even top ten in education. Mm -hmm. We're not top five in in economy or gross national product. We're we're in the top three as far as crime. Yeah. And there's literal <laughs> countries out there like murdering. Like committing genocide in the streets, yeah. and we're higher than them in crime. Mm -hmm. Like it, it. <sighs> we just taking a big hit. But we want to say that we're the greatest country in the world. Nah, we. Like, we're we're just a country that you know people can say what the hell they want, mm -hmm. and there's no accountability. Mm -hmm. We're number one in that. Yeah. We're in the number one in the lack of accountability as far as being a country. And we'll accept anybody over here. Yeah. Anybody. Yeah. They talk, what they talk about the border so we're going to do better I don't really know any worry about that border <laughs> y'all literally going to hire the people that you don't want coming over the border to build the border right so I mean what are we really talking about y'all y'all playing <laughs> y'all playing y'all yeah. like the pool guy at my age <laughs> stop stop you say okay stop it stop it stop what it say we anything <laughs> Yeah. Michelle K, okay, that was in confidence. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> Even though I said it. I, I, you brought it up. I did it. But all I'm saying is you will be voted. Oh, another vote. It's going to be another Biden and Trump. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Biden this time. Oh, Jesus. I think I'm going to run in 2020. I think anybody Eight. could. I think I'm going to run. As long as y'all have no. Well, okay. They're going to assassinate me in the first, the first day. Cause I'm gonna run on the on the platform. Enough of the bullshit. Like I'm getting rid of censorship and everything. I'm literally like my my buttons and my banners would say enough of the bullshit. 
but let's know, let's, they let's might, get back to it. They might like that. Person. I'm sure. They the, like, hey, we ain't got nothing else. Right. The extremists will will eat it up. They'll be like, yo, mm-hmm. this is the guy. This is Trump 2.0. Right. They sure. Like, oh shit, he coming out. Like uh huh. Yeah. I'm like, call me what you want. I don't care. As long as I win. Right. And once I win, yeah. oh, it's gonna be a hell. Oh, it's gonna be hell. They're gonna be like, okay, so here's the situation we got. Nah, we ain't doing that. <laughs> we ain't doing that. Fuck that. Like shit. We ain't doing that. Be like Trump Part Two. Y'all say whatever y'all want. I can do what the hell I want to do. It's like y'all get me out in four, but we ain't doing that bullshit. <laughs> Yeah. No I'm gonna break Trump's record on, record on impeachments because I'm gonna see one of these parties gonna impeach me about three, four times. <laughs> Be like, damn, another one? Yeah. Put that in the shred. I ain't worried about that. Let's go. Next. I'm like, yeah. They be like, the economy's bad. Not anymore. Mm-mm. We gonna fix this shit. Mm-hmm. How are we gonna fix it? Well, the first thing we're gonna do, yo, fuck all that foreign aid shit, mm-hmm. yo. We all been on this earth for thousands of years. If you ain't got your shit together yet, maybe it's time for you to step off the spinning globe. I don't know, but we have a lot of countries. But a lot. A to the lot. point where a majority of our debt comes from yeah. all the aid and funds that we send somebody else. Are they returning a favor like that? Of course not, because they don't got the money to. They're spending our money and they'll be like, yo, we need more money. Right, but they probably just sitting on our shit and, t- <laughs> and then they're gonna be like, oh, y'all need some money now? Yeah, because y'all got it all. <laughs> they be like, you're American, just print more. Right. They be like, wait a minute. <laughs> that, wait a minute. How y'all know about that? Wait a minute, y'all can be fine. Yeah, but like, y'all got value behind it too. So. They be like, nah. You know, just print it. And they gonna get rid of money like that. So you know, they trying cars or chipping your hand or whatever that crap. They, they trying. Uh, cybersecurity was supposed to be the step to get everybody used to getting away from money, but it didn't hold up because so many of those meme coins came out that mm-hmm. had no value that mm-hmm. it scared everybody away from it. Yeah. But they they gonna try again. Oh, yeah. They gonna try again. It's gonna be a, good, it's gonna be a way they gonna try to figure this out. Yeah. But yeah, I would get away from all that nonsense. They they be so sick of me. They be like, okay, but you know, F uh Kazakhstan needs help with fuck them. I'm like I ain't sending shit over there. I'm sending not a damn thing. No. But what they go to other countries they be like, to ask for money or they won't even worry about it. Do they ask other people besides us all the time? They do. They do. And I, I mean that's what NATO is set up for. But everybody else be like, We ain't got it. Call, call the ones with that red, white, and blue flag with the stars on it. And we'd be like, okay. uh, <laughs> you know what? We really don't got it. And then our people start, help the people, help the people. And, and they'd be like, protest. okay, I'll, I'll tell you what. We got a billion dollars. Right. We we don't got much. So um, we could spare about $45 billion, But that's all we can do this year, okay? But then when you say we struggling, but you can offer... All them billions, 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 billions. right? That that'd be the first thing. I'm like, hey, all you other countries out there in the world, y'all about to be struggling because I'm pulling all our funds back on. We got homeless vets, we got homeless children, we got regular homeless people in our own country, and we helping y'all. Fought for the country, right? And y'all don't even take care of these. That's a lot of veterans. Right, there. right. Yes. I mean, you know, with me being a veteran, it hurts my heart to see. I mean, and a lot of them be frightened. There'll be a, a few of them that's sitting on the corners panhandling, and they ain't really veterans, and they got the sign. But I'm not going to question them because, you know, I've been blessed. But I'm, if they're out there with the sign, it still pains me. Whether you're a veteran or not, it still pains me that you live in this country and you got to struggle to try to get enough money to get food. And it really hurts me. It bothers the hell out of me when, when they be out there with the babies. I'm like, man, why why y'all doing this? I think sometimes we set up and then you got a dog. What you got? I got a dog. It's a little more of a stretch for me. I'm like, that's your buddy, man. Right, you know, yeah, but... He's like, yeah, but we both hungry. I'm like, I I get it. Yeah, but you should, if you can't feed yourself, (laughs) don't have a decoy to do your dirty work to help feed you and give scraps to the dog that's going to be giving you most, because they're going to help you when you have an animal or babies or Mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. They know it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know. 
a little hesitant because if I'm gonna do it, I'll get, I'm gonna get the food or something. But I have a friend, my friend of mine, she'll get them $50, go get your hotel room, give you something to eat. But she's like that. Mm. You know, when you see homeless people. Don't like, spin the block. You come back out there 20 minutes, that motherfucker still be out there like. Right, steady talking. <laughs> Like we seen a family, the whole family, the lady, but they took turns. Then you mm-hmm. go in the little van, and you got the husband with two other kids in the car. He looking to see my. <laughs> <laughs> I seen them giving you some. Right, you know, like it's a setup because you got a whole nice car over here, but you ask for two. I ain't got no rent, like gas, and all this, but. This is a hustle. <laughs> like, I would love to sit out there and do it every week and see what I come up with. But yeah, I don't know. I think it, it makes it bad for the people that really need the help. Right. For people who are out there scheming and scamming other folks. So. It does. But at the end of the day, even the scheming and the scamming, it still doesn't justify us taking that money and sending it overseas. Yep. And giving it to people who are not American. Right. Like that's that bothers me for real, and at the sake of sounding like a, a super right wing conservatives, then you know, God bless America and no one else. But damn it, yeah, because <laughs> how you doing it? I'm I'm American, and I put us first, and that's that's what I would do. Like I wouldn't there's there wouldn't be a dime that would leave this country. If there was a kid or veteran or anybody hungry, like I tell the whole world, hey, fuck off for a minute because we got to take our own shit first. Once we take care of that, everybody's fat and full and everybody has health care and everybody gets their meds for free like Canada and shit. And we're good. Yeah. Then if we got some extra. You, people be yo, I got 20. Right. <laughs> they don't want to work because now they have the means, they healthier. Mm hmm. But if you're not worried about the American people, but you want us to support them, and but you giving that out there to other people, I mean, nobody's gonna go. And then you make us, you make what eighteen women used to make you have to go to the service or military. Or yep, selective service. Services. Right now, it's like okay, people love to go, but they dedicate their whole life, 20, 30 years, and then when they out, they on the street, mm-hmm. riding around trying to find money, and it's like, well, what? You know, I know some of them probably calls that they sell, but not everybody. I, I just don't think everybody was like careless like that. It, it right. To be, and then I know mental illness played a lot because that's yeah, yeah. PTSD is a serious thing, man. It's it's very serious, and it's it's not something that you can you can judge or or. <clears throat> you can measure just by talking to somebody like i mean because you never know um when something that was triggered over something that they seen when they were trying to defend the country triggers them so you might talk to them you know you might talk to a vet and they seem like they got it together and all but then all of a sudden you know something as small as a firecracker could go off and they snap they're literally back in the shit and it's it's dangerous. And it's not only dangerous for them, but it's dangerous for anybody around them. And you know, and then when that happens, people want to say, "Oh, that was a tragedy." They're like, "Yeah, but there was a way to prevent that." But we didn't have the funds or the means to prevent it because we send in billions <laughs> to another country. <laughs> to another country that they just want to kill each other because they that's what they want to do, and they can't return the favor. Yeah. Like, it's not like we're giving it and they're saying, okay, well, we got this money to give back to you. Nobody's giving all that money back. None. None. So we're just yeah. giving and not receiving anything and right. have to make up the difference later. And that's what we as American people are doing with the taxes. taxes. Yep. You know what? <laughs> that's a whole other conversation because if you pay in taxes and then at the end of the year, they telling you, you owe well, by the time, let me see the timeline. Let me see, right. let me see the table of contents or something because how I know that what you're telling me is true. You just right. tell me, well, you didn't pay a lot. Bitch, you was taking this much. <laughs> Over time, you really took more money out. Yep. So how do we are still only, but y'all not doing that. They're not getting that type of backlash. You know, mm-hmm. 
Well, because they, when it comes to that, Congress is the one that's taking it the most because they give each other raises yep. every yeah. year. We don't, yeah. And they work the least amount of anybody. Because yes. every time you look, Congress is out on vacation. Congress is out until this. Congress, they be like, man, y'all go to y'all are in session less than kids in school. Right. And they only go to school 120 days out the year. But you won't but let us miss a payment or anything with taxes. Ooh. 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 And you gonna do back pay. Ooh. So like, Word. They be like, yo, either we gonna lock you up or we gonna shit. take your shit or we gonna lock you up and take your shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I don't even get two for two. You took everything. They take everything. everything. They take shit that they ain't supposed to be able to touch. Right. Like, how, how can you... Wait a minute. Time out, time out, time out. <laughs> if I buy a house... <laughs> And, and it's my house. My house. What the fuck you mean? Because I didn't pay taxes, you can take my house. Pay it off. <laughs> right. You miss one or two years, and it's like, oh yeah, you for bitch. This man. <laughs> And they don't care. And they don't. They will take it. They'll take it. And then sell it three times on what you lost it for. Yep. And now you out. Yep. They don't care. Sure don't. About, and and we supposed to be the American people, home of the free, or the land of the free, and all this. Mm-hmm. Now, yep. it's just to serve their pockets. It is. And they tax us on everything. First of all, yeah. you know, they tax your income. So when you make the money, they tax it. Mm -hmm. Then the little bit you get after they've taxed it, you go to the store, they tax it again. They're like, wait a minute, I already paid taxes, you took the money. So now when I gotta go buy bread, you gonna take more? And the only way you might see that, you gotta hold on to all your receipts. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then you gotta justify, hey, um, can I have some of my money back that you took? Um, and I got receipts to show that you took it and I I would like some of it back. They were like, oh, you one of those. All right, I tell you what, we'll give you like 20% of it back. Here. Here. And they doing you a favor. Right. It's still 80%. Oh, nigga. Like. <laughs> Wait a minute. Time out. Okay, you got me on the income side. All right, you know what? It sucks, but you got me. You right. But then... You charge me another 7% every time I went to the store. Every single time. You're like, I, I can't, I have no choice. I can't say, hey, hey, I, how much is this? Uh, $4.99? Yeah, I want this. And you go up to the county and be like, no, nah, I'm not paying tax on it. I don't even have a choice. They be like, no, nah, it's, I don't even know why they even give you a price before taxes. Like, why did we they still, put the whole price why do we psychologically do that? Right. If something costs everybody, 667 dollars taxes are different. In different places. Right, but that might be one reason. But it's all based on percentages. So you can still you can still put the amount on there. Like if you know your county and your your state and your county taxes together equals eight point two percent. Every store in that state and county, they're already gonna when they press the buttons to bring you up, it automatically jumps to that price. Mm -hmm. Right? That's not a problem. So why not just put that price? I think it's another scam. I think it's psychological. Yeah, it's, you know, it makes us feel better when we see something is something ninety nine. Oh shit, that's only four ninety nine. Well, you get to, like, like, that's a whole five dollars minus a penny, pal. Food Depot at a whole ten percent. Right. But, right. But they pack. Mm -hmm. A lot of people in there, but their price is a little cheaper. But you don't really know you break it even. Right. Right. Hit or miss, but it's just them numbers. They look better. Like shit, three ninety nine versus two eighty seven. Shit. <laughs> Plus, plus, plus ten percent. Right, the register. So you don't see it. Like you don't that. see you it. See that twenty nine. <laughs> oh, that's a good deal. But that's how they do us as American people. They yep. because we see what we see and it looks good at mm -hmm. that number. But if they told us it was five ninety five, you be thinking, damn, five ninety five, and that's including tax. You take right. your mind. You can be still that's still a lot. Like, yeah, right. Right. Was it before? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you let it go. It's going to equal up to the same. You just That's true. seeing that percentage. That's, this is true. So we don't know how to act. We don't know how to act. They were ready to turn some shit up. You saw $595. What? <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Oh, like, man. It is. Oh, well. It's politics. Well, yeah, that's politics. And Donald Trump is about to be King Trump of America. Thanks. <laughs>
he could be the first American king. Mm, I'm telling you. <laughs> yep. And is he still with his wife? I don't know. No, no. I don't know. Why she loves, she's like, shit me. You, 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 you embarrass me enough. <laughs> I don't know. She was like, Don, did you really have all these Wahoo Storm oh, fucking guys? I can't fuck with you, man. Yeah, she probably, but I don't know. I think. That she ain't from America. Yeah. She's probably like, hey, yeah. you're going to bring unwanted attention to me. Right. <laughs> They gonna start asking for my papers. Yeah, she probably yeah. say shit. I'm gonna fall back real quick. But you ain't gonna shit me out of here. He ain't gonna stop it either. Hit me. Hey, 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 <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't doing that anyway. Cause she didn't. You didn't even see her or hear from her like that. It, oh, when she was in the schools and they complained about her talking. Cause she couldn't speak in good proper English and stuff. But that was like the only big backlash. It's some yeah. little stuff. Well, but, she was the first. She was the first first lady who didn't champion a cause in like right. sixty years. Right. Like she didn't. She was like nothing. Fuck education. <laughs> fuck child obesity. Fuck censorship. <laughs> I I got time for none of that shit. Mm-mm. I got to check on the Kardashians, nigga. Right. I, <laughs> in the mood to being, she was a celebrity. Right. Of, right. Um, person. Right. You know, it wasn't like no politics or nothing. None. Nothing about that. So None. Then her in there, she like, oh, what? <laughs> what? Like, hell, she wasn't gonna do none of that extra stuff. She sure did. She looked up. She said, uh, "Y'all know y'all voted for him, right? right? Not me. I, I, I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Wife, yeah, I walk with him, but y'all don't ask me no questions. Not a she one. Was not good at doing none of that. Like, no. Uh, uh-uh. uh. Michelle Obama. No. Michelle not Obama. Even. Made her look like for real, like a, a housewife. Like she just shit. Like, all of them did. Yeah. I mean, Laura Bush, Barbara yeah. Bush, fucking Nancy Reagan. Yeah, Michelle Obama came out like she she really put her name out there. She mm-hmm. a household. Yeah, but you know who you know who really disappeared. Kamala. There you go. I was about to ask you. <laughs> have you heard a word? <laughs> Say, is she even gonna be the next vice president? Because uh, you have not heard from her. You just hear from like um, who was? Oh gosh, who was Obama's um, vice, vice president? president? Yeah, who was uh, it was uh, uh, mm-hmm. oh, shit. <laughs> it was it was Joe Biden. That's right. <laughs> it was Grandpa oh, Joe. <laughs> So far, right, but, <laughs> Grandpa Joe. Yeah, well, y'all know he didn't. Mm. <laughs> you say no, no, that one, but yeah, all four, all eight years. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, because they wanted Hillary to do it the first four, right. and she said, "Fuck that, I'm gonna be president." Mm-hmm. And then when she didn't, he was like, "Well, I'm, I'm gonna take." And Joe was like, "Hey." I'm 60 years old. I need to get in that White House. I'm tired of Congress. He wanted, he wanted to be in there one with other. He, he got it. Not to run it, though. But do you know how scary that is? Because we haven't heard from her. Mm-hmm. If somehow Grandpa Joe pulls this out, I'm taking the under on him living two years after. Oh. Like, I think he's going to die within the first year and a half. Which means, yeah, he's he's not well. That's what they keep. He's saying. not well. I, I gotta see this debate. That's what they keep saying. He's not he well. just really look like it's just no hope. At yeah. All. So it's just like I think they're gonna CGI his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think once he died, we just gonna be looking at videos and be like, Yeah, like did he already say that? You're right. <laughs> hey man, where Joe at? Let can we see Joe? They be like, Well, Joe's busy, so he's he's gonna do it from That's from from mean. from me. That's <laughs> Kamala Harris then like oh well yeah uh, I'm here like, and that's the scary part yeah because, because if he dies she becomes president but the sad thing about it what has she done you heard about her Pence and Biden um uh, Trump mm-hmm. but once Kamala got in, in the office you really did not I've heard about any President uh, Obama, his wife. You heard about all these other people. Mm-hmm. You not heard anything about her or her husband. Nope. Like, what has she been doing? Nope. I know the last I heard was her first when it, when Joe first won and her first opening of the Senate mm-hmm. because the vice president is the president of the of Congress mm-hmm. and. 
she didn't even take the opening speech serious. And it's like, it's basically a paragraph and a half of things that the vice president has to say mm -hmm. to open up Congress. And she's up there, she's reading off the paper and she's, oh, <laughs> excuse me. Oh, I, I messed up. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> you ain't you, they they started panning like the Senate and the rep and the House mm -hmm. uh, individuals, and you could see them like, mm, "What have we done?" <laughs> like, yo, this is the second most powerful person yep. in the free world. Man, you one of us of all people, <sighs> and that's what they was looking for. And mm -hmm. just, like they thought this was just gonna be, but. She, it's like she just got really behind the scenes, like mm -hmm. way behind the scenes. Because I think her plan is, you know what? Let, Let me just like shut himself. up, <laughs> not say nothing. <laughs> Let everybody forget. So when he does die, I jump in, and now I'm president. Right. Um, she, <sighs> she probably would have wanted him to go out like that, but you still ain't even get yourself to even put a name out there for you. None. You should. Michelle Obama did better with her name exactly than you did. And exactly. You vice president. Exactly. So yeah, I don't know if she if she come out the light, out the back closet and stuff. I'll be surprised, but you didn't even hear in nothing, not one thing. Like she just saying, forget it. I know exactly. he ain't doing nothing. I only want to have my name on this. Like it's crazy. I don't know of anything she's championed. I don't know any. I don't know any of her policies or her politics or anything. Mm -hmm. Everything that I know about. Kamala Harris is based on when Joe ran the first time. That was it. That's all, that's the only that's thing it. heard of. That's the That's it. I don't know oh. nothing of the of these four years. Like she could say, hey, you know what? Team Biden and Harris, and here's what I did for the last four years. Nothing. She even with him a lot of times when he would be places. Mm -mm. Like mm -mm. never seen her. Mm -mm. Like, yeah. Mm -mm. All them, all every time he fell out the plane or or walking oh, off, walking off in the grass, <laughs> that they did it alone. <laughs> right. <laughs> now his wife was there because she probably had to be his caregiver. Uh huh. Like, <laughs> but that time when he got confused on that stage and he looked around and she you know, when they tried to get his attention, like. Yeah, it was bad then. Cause that's when everybody pointed out, like, yeah, I don't know what we just did. <laughs> Four years. That's all they know. And I know they were praying. I know yeah. they'd be praying that he make it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cause this was a struggle. Yeah. This is not gonna be good. And they were like, yo, somebody came up with some new medication and they got Joe looking spry for about <laughs> three commercials. Right. That's what we were to they were trying to revive him. Five old man is biting. What? He don't even know where he at at this point. Like, y'all better stop. <laughs> the medicine wearing off. Right, right. Somebody get another fun. dose. <laughs> he going down. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's exactly how it be. I'm gonna stop the tape. Stop the tape. <laughs> Man, that don't that be on live. Oh People gonna eat it up. Like, yeah, I'm telling you, it's we laughing, but that shit is funny. Yo, it's gonna be bad. I didn't see the very end. Uh, my, my brother was telling me he was like, "Yo," he said, like the last uh, forty seconds to a minute after it all ended. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> he said everybody was like, "All right, let's get ready to go and stuff like this." Trump nodded off, and Trump walked off. Said Biden was still at the podium, like <laughs> <laughs> somebody said, "Go get him!" <laughs> I think he out on his feet again. He's a tough move, or he didn't even know. Ain't nobody else in the room. What is? <laughs> they done shut the lights off. <laughs> this nigga still at the podium. <laughs> I'm like, yo, somebody go get the wheelbarrow. Oh somebody God. get the toe dolly and go get Grandpa Joe. He he out on his feet again. <laughs> Four more years. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't be wheeling around. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's, that's, hey, that's yeah. up to. Up he was like, yo, I think he had a stroke right there on the stage. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch the debate. Oh, my God. I know it was going to be pretty. 
I just didn't know what they could talk about because both of them is in a bad position right now. So I don't know who's going to be very good at talking one. Right. But it did kind of feel like that. Like, all right, who going to pop off first? All y'all are the dogs. Y'all, doing, y'all not doing anything productive. Right. It's making American people look really bad. And plus, mm-hmm. we ain't got nobody else but y'all, too. That's the best we got. She's like this. Damn. <laughs> think we feel they probably say shit we gonna get their ass to the American people the next four years because they ain't got nobody like one for to be a prison inmate the other ain't gonna make it past a year or two ain't gonna make it oh my god vice president shit we don't even know nothing about that like we are really gonna be in a situation yeah one is a goofy chick that disappeared the other one just said fuck it I don't even need one be my one man baby. And like, I don't need no middle man. He said, I don't need it. He said, didn't y'all see my show? Right. I'll fire everybody. I don't need no man. I, I love the apprentice. I was an apprentice person and he did not care. You're fired. I love him, boy. He did not play. He did, if you didn't make all that money and do the little cop, the little, uh, the, tr- the little things he had going on and stuff uh-huh. like that, Please, he had you in that little over office. Uh, you had other people talking shit about you. Like, Who's talking the worst shit? We're gonna be the one to stand. <laughs> it was over, and he didn't care. He was sitting back. You're fired. <laughs> and then you just get up with those, the, the walk of shame. Uh, he out there, you get on that little freaking elevator. <laughs> and then you talking shit in the car, in the taxi. They don't put you in a real damn limo or nothing. Damn. You know, the taxi and shit. Sitting on down, well, you know, so and so. Yeah, that show was a good show. I ain't gonna lie. He knew, he he knew, but that's how he got um black girl. Uh, uh, um, um, Amor, something. Uh, Amorosa. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. She was something. He loved yeah. on that show. Yeah. He was like, yeah, but look how he did her. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he has no scruples, man. He is ruthless. He, he, he don't care if you're his friend. But you all gonna get it. Ain't nobody exempt. You better be. Mm-mm. I don't know what kind of friend you need to be from not being like that. But yeah, he going for the juggler for whoever yeah. you are. You need to get that man exactly what he want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's it. Because yeah. <laughs> if you don't. <laughs> If you don't, you ain't gonna have it. <laughs> and you, and you gonna suffer for it, and he gonna let you know he did. Mm-hmm. Like, you're not gonna have no. You want to have me think? Damn Trump. <laughs> yep. Got him. Hey, you ain't gonna do nothing but sit there, go home and cry. That he ain't got a political friend in the world, mm-hmm. but he don't care. <laughs> what his lawyer was, but he had all those Giuliani. Boys. You don't even see them no more. Yeah, you haven't seen them jokers since they jokers. I think Giuliani in jail. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Trump was like, the guy, the big guy. suck me, you, Nick. <laughs> what was the other big guy, the little white guy that uh, his other lawyer, the little white, the, the big guy. I remember the big guy. I remember Rudy Giuliani because he used to be the mayor of New York. He had another one. Did he? He had another guy that used to fight for him, too. He was another lawyer. Mm. And Trump threw him under the bus, too. <laughs> Trump didn't care. He, bitch, you ain't going to be on my side. Fuck all y'all. I'm going, mm. I'm going out by myself. And he'd rather do the shit by himself. He would. He'd rather talk the shit. He would. He'd he he giving you everything he got. So, you can't even hate the man for that. Like, shit, you got to respect him. That's so bad. Yeah. It's so bad. Yeah, you remember when he came to Atlanta when he he called in the governor's meeting over the COVID thing and then they threw Kemp under the bus? Oh, I was like, oh, this dude about to be a problem. He was not playing. He, he was, was his boy. <laughs> was his right hand man. I remember like it was yesterday. Kemp came out. He was like, yeah, all the, the governors are all meeting Donald Trump yeah. at the CDC yeah. down in Atlanta and we're going to talk about this COVID thing. And we were like, all right, let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. And then motherfucking Trump leaves Atlanta and then Kemp says, okay, so here's what we got to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, Georgia, we got to shut down Georgia. Um, I talked to the president and we're all going to do this for everybody's safety. So we're going to shut our, all our businesses and stuff. No sooner did Trump get his ass back to the White House, he said, I didn't tell that nigga to shut down Georgia. <laughs> that ain't what I said. Like, what? Who told him that? Was like, hey, yo, what the fuck? 
Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you just. We was. Mm -hmm. you... Yep. Oh. oh, oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that was a lot of backlash on that. Oh, they didn't want to do the PPE. They didn't want to do the right. mask or none of that because they kept saying it's no COVID. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but Kemp got his ass back though. Yeah. Because after he after he shit on Kemp, sure said, enough, needed Georgia. His family. He's, they his yeah. Kill yeah. Fuck that. I'm for who you are. You already. Oh no, that was that was that was Raffensperger, the the guy who was in charge of the counts, the um. What do they call that? The clerk. Yes, they. Kemp's old job. They did him so wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, man, he didn't give a damn. Like, no. Nope. He nope. fuck it too. Kemp said, yeah. Hey. Or yeah, uh, Raffensperger said, I don't give a yeah. god. Hey. He did like what? You He's like, I kiss nobody. I, I told you to vote right. Yeah. And the vote's right. <laughs> Count him again. I ain't counting shit again. It's right. He wasn't. He wasn't. It's right. And they sued and they won everyone because they knew they was not wrong. But just think if he had to kiss Trump ass, they all yeah. would have been. We'd She'd be governor right now. Kemp would have been out. And, and, and we have been a Republican. He might have been the vice president. Rathersberger might be the man. He's like, that's hard enough. He probably say, my Kemp, my, uh, what's his name, Pence? Uh, I got somebody out there to go kiss my I'm ass. I'm telling you. That shit was hilarious. Yeah. I was like, yo, did he really just throw yeah. Kemp under the bus? I mean, Kemp's in there like. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. uh, uh, uh. But Kemp said, all right, I'm going to get your ass back. He, he couldn't then. Take it and be the sucker duck that he was, or he had to come out swinging. Because Trump was not playing. Hey, but he got him, though. Yeah. Because when it all. You know, after Trump did all that shit with the COVID, yeah. Now all of a sudden, you need Georgia. Yeah. You called him, and Kemp was like, "Lines, who put that on hard for me? Think about this shit for a minute. I know that joke. Then when he wanted to come down here, everything is like really talking to him. Like he big. Are we friends? Friends? Back. <laughs> I'm saying, like, I wasn't worth what he tell him. He wasn't even worth being down. I don't know why y'all voted for him. Yeah. In the office and he yeah. Goes, oh, you dogged him. <laughs> tell say, you remember all that? Yeah. Hey, you mean how many votes you said? How many? Tell <laughs> said, I got a map. <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, there ain't no more votes. Yeah. Like, he said, oh, he said nigga, find me a thousand. I ain't find you shit. Right. <laughs> when he fought back on that one, it was almost like a tennis match. Yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna say something there? Oh, that what he said to you? Oh, yeah, that shit was wild, boy. That was that was, that was good TV, dude. That, that, that was good TV. I was on TV. I popped every press conference at five o'clock. I was ready because you had well, well once he Macalina she had got pregnant then he had that little other white chick mm. yeah she was all right but she could she could hold it out like my Macalina was <laughs> uh, she was something else but yeah mm -hmm. he was definitely um he knew he knew how to get people that jump but yeah that shit was crazy <laughs> that was the highlight and you always stayed glued to that TV mm -hmm. this was the highest when he was in office it was he was not. Every freaking day, yeah, you had to be on the news. Yeah, every day he didn't even talk shit. You just to sit there, but I did this. Now talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> and then walk off. And he didn't have to be because this thing, he would not put that damn Twitter account. Remember, oh. he was that it was on Twitter. Like he a normal ass dude. When they had a ban you from Twitter, <laughs> you said shit. And then you mad because they banned you from saying stupid shit. What? And then you having a whole argument with people. Oh, normal people. Man. You're the president of damn United States. Tweeting. He like, he said, what that bitch say? What? Hey, <laughs> fuck you. No the problem. real Donald Trump, bitch. <laughs> what is you doing, dude? President, not that We're real people. And he stayed on social media. That bitch could not stay on. And all that kept telling him, leave it alone. What you say about my hair? Leave it alone. 
like, he did the, oh man, Trump, I'm telling you, I love Trump. Oh, Trump wasn't backing down for no <laughs> fucking, he ain't give a damn who he was, how you came, bitch, you was going to get him. <laughs> you going to get every bit of that, and he was going to be raw with, and then he knew how to play dirty with you. Mm -hmm. You could be thinking, oh, I'm going to get him, he two steps ahead of you, so you better have your stuff together, because he coming for you, like, yep. he is coming. Like, hey, he bring all the hell with him, boy. What? Man. Oh my God. He, he not he not scared of nothing. Hey, yeah, that shit was hilarious. Cause I remember when um when Barack won. Mm -hmm. And I remember because I I've never been big on Twitter or nothing like that. I ain't never been on Twitter. Yeah. Um <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, like, comment, and subscribe, even on Twitter. So <laughs> <laughs> But um I remember when when uh when Barack first came in and he told everybody in the tweet, he said, hey, you know, now that I'm president, I got to, you know, I've been informed. I got to put this account down and, yeah, he you know, be on social media like that right. Because he was like, yo, you are the leader of the free world, so you can't do it. Mm, they they try to say that shit to Trump. <laughs> Trump got on Twitter. He said, yo, these motherfuckers trying to tell me to get on Twitter. Who the fuck they think I'm the president? <laughs> They put flags and, and fireworks near his shit. Yeah, you ain't gotta lie. That man has so much. And I kept saying, get that bitch on Twitter. <laughs> he's gonna be in the White House working. He over there talking about nuclear war. What the fuck he say on Twitter? Put that shit up on the screen. I gotta get that bitch. Can you be sitting over there like, forget, forget meters and all that. He on his phone. Worry about what you say on Twitter. Everybody. And you gotta word the world. Somebody say, bitch, y'all heard from to the left. Oh. He said, he probably was like, to the left? Bitch, you don't know if I heard style. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't leave no stone unturned. Dude. He got on that Twitter, boy. Dude. Man. He be up there doing a press conference saying, yeah, we're the greatest. And then somebody could whisper his again. What? <laughs> For real? Yeah, so we're the, we're the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> and he, fuck this whole conference. <laughs> yeah, he can't even. <laughs> what man he out? Hey, you hear? Tick, 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 tick. And then he do it so fast. He probably like the keyboard. They gonna say keyboard killer. Like that. They just gonna say about this. Give me one minute. I got one more. I got one more question. I'm telling you, he was. They put the phone down and be like, all right, what was he talking about? <laughs> be like, nigga, you, you, you was talking right. <laughs> you went into a whole Twitter Man, beef, dude. Right? <laughs> you going back and forth. Oh, we sit there. God. None of us can say that, so no. we just watching your head and everything. You. Because you the president, and you like, yeah. And they ain't going to say nothing to you, because you might find their name on Twitter. They went up like, and start talking shit about they phone and that. He'd be like, okay, look. Yeah, he was, he, I swear, that's why. That's what was hilarious. My family knew how much I would race home to go see that fight. Five o'clock, this was ready. <laughs> ready every day. Who stayed on camera every day? Yeah, it, it was weekend, amazing. Besides the weekend, he took two days off. But that's he right. was coming bright early. Either Vegas or Florida playing yeah, golf. Like, right. <laughs> oh, channel 2, 5, and then that fake news, that news stand, that other little fake news. Oh, yeah. He was. Oh, we can go on and on. But I love me to try. They, 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 they kicked the nigga off. <laughs> Look at the pillow guy. He had a little. Pillow yeah, yeah. Guy. From Minnesota? Yes. And then he had the guy that did the fake. That sort of did the wall, and he took all the people's yeah. money, and now he going to jail, but he don't want to go. He's like, wait a minute. He said, no, nah, bitch, you took the people's money. You knew you wasn't going to build not a damn, no type of wall, but Trump played to the American people like you were the best of the city. Right. And now you mad because, oh, yeah, he wasn't going to defend you. <laughs> oh, what he do? Oh, he got caught. What? Shit. Let me go over here for a minute. He didn't even do the nigga to be Mm -mm. I don't know that. Deleted everything, all the contact, everything. Like I'm telling you, he was. 
He was a bad man. Yeah, he was he was notorious for that. Yeah. He when he get to talking because you still you had something to offer. Mm-hmm. Oh, you were the best in the world. Right. The best. He was like, yeah. Man. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about King Bear. Yeah. He's he's the best in the world. I've so I've only so been around five guys yeah. who could do what he does, yeah. and he's by far better than all five together. <laughs> it's King Bear, King Bear, King Bear, King Bear, King Bear. He's the best ever. And then let something happen, he'd be like, Who? Who? <laughs> where my where my phone? Let me... All of a sudden, bling on Twitter. <laughs> Fuck King Bear. That, that motherfucker don't know what the hell he do. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> this nigga done kill my whole business. <laughs> Destroy your whole reputation. Broke three fingers. It's over, like, come on now. You should have said, "This room, that's at your house." Like, I don't remember. I don't know. I don't call that. The place has already been deleted, so you didn't even exist, Paul. You say whatever you want. I'm telling you, he was a. That, if he didn't have such a nastier attitude, he would be good. If he really stuck to. Yeah, a bit more charismatic yeah. and more presidential. Right. Uh-huh. You know, we're not used to that asshole type part. So right. I think that's what scared a lot of people. But we needed that, but he didn't have to go as far as he was going. <laughs> but, I think he did. Because like, he had. Right. You weren't going to stop him. Right. But I think he would have did good. Like, if yeah. he just had him change his mind frame. But he was like, I'm going to change nothing. What you see is what you're going to get. And, and you're right because even even with all that and the fear and everything he struck, he, he still him. only lost by a little bit. But look so who he lost too, though. You got right. to that because it wasn't like he, we had no real competition. He destroyed everybody on the Democratic Party. From, he sure did. I mean, he was red, and that was the, now that was a debate when he had air, and it's like he had a whole list. All right, we're gonna start with your ass first. And he went he, down he get them all. And he didn't. He didn't hold back. He was the first Kate Kendrick Lamar. Yep. <laughs> this nigga <laughs> pointed out presidential debate yeah. anthems. Yep. And he was he like, won. "Yo," yeah. he said, "All right, I need dirt on everybody. I can't find no dirt on jo- really mm-hmm. Joe Biden's been in Congress for sixty years and he ain't got no dirt." That's why he said, "Damn." That's why he oh, but his son yeah. fucking up, baby. Got him. <laughs> Got him. It ain't as big, but we got to take it back. We got enough. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm Donald Trump. I'll make it big. Oh, won't it? Oh, yeah. Oh. I ain't never in my life seen somebody so trying to backtrack because of something that they kid did. I'm telling you. They'd be like, hey, man. Like, Joe should have shut that down. He'd be like, well, first of all, mm-hmm. keep my kid's name out your mouth. That's the first thing there, Donnie. Because... <laughs> Yo, all this presidential shit be damn. I'm gonna fuck you up and keep talking about my kid. Yeah. That's what he should have did first. He did it. And even after that, he should have said, "Well, you know what? My son made mistakes. That's his life. Right? We ain't talking about that. Uh-huh. I'm running here, not my son. Joe just ate it. Mm-hmm. And then Don stayed on it. Yeah. Right? Stayed on he it. He had no backbone. He had, right? He had no backbone. Not like Trump. Trump was kind. Of, he got the type of backbone that he's firm on what he's saying. Even if it's a lie, but he is not gonna let it's up. A certified lie. Right. He, he will believe it, and he will convince you to believe that lie. You can't stand up against him because the shit, the bullshit that he comes at you with. You, you have to say yes, damn it. You sure? And that's how good he was. I promise. Yeah. Trump was. Yeah. Trump was a plan. Yeah. And if he used that to the good, he really would have been a good president. Yeah. Really, sis. Lisa came along. Now, he'd have stumped on a lot of toes and shit, but I don't think we'd be giving away a lot of money. He wanted to keep, well, I don't know. He was a little iffy when that war, when he gave all that money to, um, what was it? Putin. Putin. Mm. Putin. His little buddy. Yeah, I was his buddy. Mm. But he, he definitely ruined things for us with China. Yeah. Um, that was that suck. But, and the big thing that was behind that was years ago. And this is, speaks again. That Trump hold grudges. He hold grudges. And he hold years hey, long yeah, grudges. Imagine how he did in elementary. Yeah. <laughs> There's probably cats out there that's like. He's like, damn, I had to leave the country for four years. Now I gotta fuck around and leave another four. Cause if he went, he gonna look for me. I gotta go to no extradition. <laughs> I gotta be in a country where they can't get me. 
Robert got a little mad search. All the inmates, all his old friends. Pull him up. That's he it. got access to all that too. Hey, bring me that elementary uh, yearbook <laughs> from 1952. Tommy <laughs> what, what was that? Five. What was his name? Yep, yep. I remember. He stole my pencil. Yeah. Get that bitch. He said you know I was gonna be What's shit. What's his name? Get him. Mm-hmm. Y'all take it too long. Let me see if he's on Twitter. <laughs> he might, let me see if I can find. Let me do a search yeah. on Twitter. See if I find it. He, that man. Oh my God. That man was something serious. Yeah, he definitely but, was. And with China, they turned around. Like China was giving a lot of U.S. companies a lot of tax breaks mm-hmm. for moving a lot of their manufacturing and business over there. You know, and Democrats have always accepted that, right. you know. And so when Trump, back when he was a Democrat, because people forget that part, mm. uh, Trump was a Democrat most of his life. Oh, really? Yeah. I, that, I never knew. Yeah. He only switched. Do you know when he switched? He switched at that White House dinner when Barack was clowning him. Mm, that's so That, yeah. 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 So he was, he was endorsing when it was uh, Barack versus Hillary. Yeah. He was endorsing Hillary. I think. If you go back and look, he was he was uh, you know holding up Hillary's hand and he's like, yeah, this is gonna be our next president. Until she ran against him and they had that debate and she destroyed right. him. Right. He but, destroyed her. Right. He he destroyed her. But that was because and Donald Trump would not be a thing if it wasn't for Barack Obama. And people forget that. That White House uh, correspondent dinner, one of the last ones, mm-hmm. uh, Obama thought it was in fun, but he was he was he was clowning Donald Trump. And Donald Trump wasn't even in politics or anything. He was just like, you know, he he's rich, so he he paid the hundred and fifty thousand dollars a plate to go. Right. So he's sitting up in there, and then like so the running joke was you know, Donald Trump was big in real estate and stuff like that. So Barack Obama had, or I don't know if he came up with the joke, but the joke was, hey, um, if Donald Trump ever had his cho- had his wet <clears throat> way of doing developing in Washington, D.C., here's what the White House would look like. And then they did this mock-up of the White House, and they they raised it up, and they made it. It said Trump White House and Casino, and they so they were teasing them for like shit he did, and right, and everybody's like, ah, they pan the camera to Trump, this nigga, stone face. So yeah, yeah, you you can actually look it up. It's the correspondent dinner. Um, of Barack's. It had to be 2008. It was his first. It was his first term. When his, right, so when his first term was ending, it was one of the last correspondent before he was going to run again. Okay, so start and, 2012 then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, and you look at it and you'll see, and Barack just kept, he was roasting them. He kept hitting, because it was a whole bunch of people there, but he kept roasting Donald Trump. And Donnie getting there getting madder and madder and madder. He's sitting there, no he's idea. stewing. And a couple short years later, He put his name on the ticket as a Republican. And CNN, MSNBC, everybody was going nuts. They were like, wait a minute. He's been a lifelong Democrat. When did he turn Republican? It was at that moment. And he did such a good job. They came at him like that? Or was it just... Well, you know Donald Trump. It don't matter if you black, white, or anything. If you come for him, he's going to get your ass. He gonna get your ass. He praising his own way, but he he don't see color when you come at him. Right. He don't care. The only color he sees is red. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like red and then blackout. And, right. <laughs> when he blackout. Yeah. You're done. Like you're done. You better yep. hope he just pass out and see red. But once he go past that red, yeah, he. Yep. That and would make him a dangerous man yep. in the White House is because he had no boundaries. He right. had nothing. Once you pissed him, he didn't care who you was. He he destroyed all his people on his team. Remember how he went to mm-hmm. lawyers? If they yep. didn't do what he wanted to do, he fired you. Yep. Right on the like, <laughs> You are an apprentice, nigga. Like, fired. You yeah, fired. You're out of fired. there. Fired. Fired another replacement. <laughs> Getting the ball. But he, he um right. yeah. And he uh <clears throat> so you know, four years before he was supporting Hillary trying to get her to beat yeah. Barack. 
And then, you know, when now when she was going against them. Oh, man. Little silly thing. That was. Emails? How you destroy her right. whole political career and, and, and on some did. emails? And he did because she had no rebuttal. She had nothing but bull crap. She kept playing around right. instead of just saying, okay, this is what it was. But you right. thought you was going to win because, A, you was a woman. And right. We ain't had that. But that and was then you party. looked at Trump. Right. And they looked at Trump and it's like, there's no way they're going to vote. Right. I'm a yeah. shoe in. But the fact they was not ready for a woman, so they were gonna pick Trump. Plus, you was sensitive. Remember, she did all that little sensitive, sensitive shit on the yep. and all that. Once you at that town hall, yep. It was like, bitch, you crying? <laughs> <laughs> Like, yep. you know, we want a sensitive person, but we don't need nobody crying like right, that. Like, right. you blew that on your own and all that little other stuff she was going through there, her daughter. And then she had Clinton. <laughs> this little scandal. That didn't help a little bit, even though that was years later. But come on now. And the funny thing, Don didn't even use that. He didn't have to. He didn't have to. I bet he got in his back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, if that email shit didn't stick. <laughs> Where your hubby at? Where he at? We know what you Clinton's doing in the White House. Mm. Right. Like, uh, your staff you, member you, yeah, you gonna have a staff member like your husband did? Like, he would have went in. She would have had a chance. She didn't have a chance. Once you see his demeanor and how he shut down all the other people on the panel, and it was just her. Bitch, I know you didn't think you had it. I know she think. It was almost like you she signed your did, own death certificate when you stood at that podium and you looked at and it's all one. It was like he looked at her like, yeah, I got you. Bitch, this is easy. He knew at that point when he got down to her, cause all the other people were stronger than her. Yeah. But her, she thinking one thing, but he had so much dirt on everybody else. Mm-hmm. Shit. It was she, almost like candy in the store. Like he probably said, like, let me wrap that wrapper off and just eat you now. You ain't going nowhere. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, she really genuinely like she was high fiving. She was like she she Donald Trump. What? Oh, mm -hmm. I'm president. Y'all can start calling and me Madam didn't President have, now. Didn't even have a strong campaign. She didn't. Not like he did. She he did. didn't. Even have Yo, he, what did he run on? They smoke and mirrors. <laughs> bullshit, exactly. He ran on how fucked up they right. was. That's, exactly that's, that's how he won. He had no agenda. He had nothing. He just talked about the bullshit that y'all didn't do. And he an amateur. He's an amateur, a TV yeah. amateur. And bitch, y'all believe y'all all put for years. Your husband was in political, all this shit. And he came out of the form. <laughs> I don't know, what's his little thing, his little house? Uh, Key Largo or some, something Largo. Mar-a-Lago. Mar 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 Mar-a-Lago, Mar 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 yeah. No, no, bitch, you came from out of there? <laughs> out of retirement home. Man, what? And you came in and destroyed the whole Democrat party. The whole Democrat party. The whole party. thing. The whole thing. Nobody, they, and they were so in shock. They were like, I, I, Hey, and then the one with the black guy, fooling with the lady, and she was mad. I'm like, I need, I'm going to give you this much money, you pay these bitches, whatever, but I need people talking. And that's what he did. And all y'all sitting back, oh, he ain't going to find nothing. They didn't even play dirty. Nope. They didn't even play dirty. Right. They tried to go up, up. right. We have to be better. Bitch, y'all should have been dirty. Y'all should have been dirty. <laughs> And yep. I was sitting over there like, no, we're gonna just be over here. And oh, that's what he's saying. We, we're gonna be better than him. We're gonna take the high road. Oh, don't tell nothing about my mom. Yeah. going for daddy's broke. <laughs> don't, you couldn't do no dirt and he didn't find it. Nope. It, it was it was a done deal. That's why that's what made him what he was. Yeah. American people, and especially nowadays with social media, mm -hmm. we love scandal. We love dirt. We love tea. Yeah, we love it. So if somebody's going to come dishing tea, and not hold back. everybody listening. Everybody listening. It, he didn't just skim the top. Right. He just went from layers. Right. And he was like, ooh. Like every time it's just like he just stabbed you a little hard. Ooh. Right. Like, yeah. And you sitting over there like, well... Do you you didn't fold your paper this way? He, they stuck a paper in here. Come on. Y'all out there doing all the little dirty. Let's talk about your nasty ass kids doing what they do. Let's talk about that. 
Y'all worried about some folds. Folds, everything, and he coming for that's that was, that's what got him where he was, and we had no competition. But yeah, we screwed now, so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got a, a psychotic versus a freaking uh, a ge- ger- geriatric. geriatric. <laughs> yeah. That that's the best. That's yeah. the best America has to offer. The rest of the world is cracking up, laughing at we us. Are, we are definitely a joke at this point. Absolutely. I Damn. can see how we have, and that's like no nominations. Nobody and nobody even tried to run. I didn't even see anybody on the ballot. Was it? There was. They did early. Er, yeah, early, like January. But, there was like five people, and then they all dropped out by February. It was like, eh, yeah, I'm done. It was like, yo, he he still got to go to court, right? He, y'all drop it out already. Y'all dropped out and let him do, because I believe he had more stuff on him. Donald Trump was these four years. You don't think he was wet? He was probably getting dirt on anybody who thought about running. Bitch, you, I, oh. I yeah, I, I can see that. Was, I think he was ahead of the game. Yeah, he already had his stuff ready because we didn't even see half of the people. You probably. When I work at, we didn't get flyers and all these little things about who's running. Normally, we get like, yeah, who's running for the next seat. Uh-huh. Everybody was, yeah, nowhere Nothing. near like it was four years ago. Right, right. Now, we probably, matter of fact, we didn't even have it. The con- nobody. It, mm. it was the volume was so low. So I said, yeah, this is. He already did what he needed to do to get back because he wanted these four years. Yeah, he was mad. And yeah, I think from that day one when y'all put his ass out. <laughs> That bitch was on the vengeance. He was he was coming for the. He said, I'm coming back. Yeah, oh, I'm coming back. And y'all ain't finna get rid of me now. <laughs> uh, household name for once. Now I'm on. Everybody know me? Bitch, y'all better be ready. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but on that note, wow. <laughs> this has been a really yeah. fun yeah. show. <laughs> this, I like this topic better. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> learned a lot today. I'm okay. telling you. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And to the knuckleheads that missed today, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, the we, we're going to catch y'all on the next one. It's been fun. I am King Bear in the building. Michelle K. And y'all have a great one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Peace.